Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre and today I'd like to do a review on my Neverfull MM. So, what do I think of the Neverfull MM? Initially, if I had to be honest, I thought it was quite overrated. Nearly a year later, I absolutely love this bag. Absolutely love it. Right, so this is in the Demier Bean print. This was the original print that Louis Vuitton created. And then his son did the monogram, which is loved by many, which is basically this print here, the monogram. So this, the sizing of this bag is in length, it is 12 inches. In height, it is 11.4 inches, and your width across here is 6.7 is inches. So it's a great size bag. This bag comes in three sizes. You have the PM size, and you have the MM, which is this one. And then you have the GM, which is bigger, which is big, and everybody says is huge humongous I don't think so if you like big bags then it's a good bag this I think is the ideal size because it's big enough to fit your essentials your not so essentials it fits a lot um, the PM is about this size of this bag it's about kind of this size and then the GM will probably go to this size. Now this bag has the two laces on the side which you can cinch the bag in which I'm sure you've seen many times people do so it gives it basically yeah. that shape so you basically pull them in I've got it full just now so it's not going to do it and it tightens there I never use it like that I never will to me this is a tote bag and this is how I like to use it. These are nice, it's a nice decoration on the bag. On my bag I also have my charms, my lingerie charm and my poof and this matches the inside of my bag. So this bag comes in the, in this print which I said was the um, Demi et Abine. It comes in the azure and the monogram. You can also get it in the epi leather which is like a coated leather in different colours and I suppose the colours change seasonal. Um, now what, what do I carry in this bag? What do I carry in this bag? Lots. I have, let's see if we can see what's in the bag here we go okay so I tend to keep an organiser in my bag so let's see right. just, just before I get what's in the bag this is the box the bag came in so it's quite a flat box that was wrapped around it that's Receipt. Have a receipt here. Right there. Um, so the bag was in September, I think it was yes, the 7th of the 9th, 2014. I purchased this bag. £710, still retails at £710. So it hasn't gone up. People tend to say that they go up a couple of times a year, but that's nearly a year and it still hasn't gone up. Before I bought the Neverfull and was contemplating buying the Neverfull, I thought oh, it's far too much money to pay on just a tote bag. So I went out and bought the long shot this bag here. Lovely bag, love it. As a beach bag, as a gym bag. But really, 
you know, I don't know. You know, it is really casual. It's a really comfortable bag to use. Here we go. Like that. <laughs> but, you know, it's just a more classic bag, I think. And as you can see, I've really got this stuff. And that's basically what I carry every day. Is it heavy? Hmm. Could be quite heavy, yeah. But, you know, if you choose to carry a lot of things, it's going to be heavy. Okay, so what do I have in this bag? Let's see. So in this bag, let's see if we can kind of get it to... There we go. Okay, in the background just there is my mother who has dementia. So, there we go. So, in the background... So, in here we have my brolly, my purse, my cosmetic pouch, my glasses, reading glasses, and so on. And this pouch that comes with the bag. I'll also show you what fits in that pouch as well. Okay. So I have my Sarah wallet, which is a great wallet. I love this wallet. And what I love about this wallet is if I just want to use my wallet, I just put my iPhone in the back there. And then off I go. So that's the Sarah wallet. I got that the same day I got my bag. I tend to like purses to match my bags. So I have the Sarah wallet. In this pocket here, just there, I, I tend not to zip that up. Let me see if I zip the box underneath if it'll lift it up higher. There we go. So in the zipped part here, I keep my iPhone, the iPhone 6, whatever bits of paper I'm throwing in. My keys, which mm -hmm. are in a Gucci pouch, okay, so that's a car key, and thousands of other keys. Just some receipts, my, whatever nail varnish I've got on my nails, I can like to carry with me, just in case it chips. So this, this is actually, this was a special edition one, Nouveau Vague. Called the Chanel one. There we go. That's what I've got on my nails. Which is my Hermes Click H in the blue. Is that glaring? There we go. In the blue at all. And of course, you have the pouch, which currently I have nothing in it but a business card. Um, I have. A brolly, there we go, doesn't match the bag, it doesn't matter, it keeps me dry. A bag, my shopping, because in Scotland we get charged five pence for a carrier bag and I grudge it, I'll pay hundreds for a handbag, but I grudge the five pence. And then, so basically that's everything that's not in the pouch and then I just lift up this pouch just here. And in that, I have a purse with my earphones and my charger. In here, I have just my contact lens solution, some cream, a wee deodorant. I'm one of these what if people, what if I need it. I have my Kindle in here. I have my PM agenda in the monogram. My reading glasses, which are Givenchy, which look like this, which I shouldn't be wearing because I've got contacts in just now. Okay. And my new Prada glasses, which I'm loving at the moment, and they look like this. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. So keep that there. And then just pens here. Mm. And I keep my business keys in the wee pocket there. I don't like things rubbing onto other things. So that's what I keep in my bag. Because my cosmetic pouch is just there. So just things that I might need. And I keep that upside down in there. 
that's just back in there. So as you can see, I do carry a lot of things. So we'll just put that and then that sits over on that. And then just so what I'll do is I'll show you what actually fits in this pouch. This would be a great pouch for your, if you're travelling, all your travel documents, passports, quick easy access, everything's there. Does it fit the Sarah wallet? Nope. But, let's say you take a smaller wallet, the Gucci wallet I have. That fits in. Let's say you wanted to fit in your keys, which I don't think anybody carries as many keys as I do, but there you go. Okay. So what? There you go. Good to go. Beautiful. I think it's good. So you can double it up like that. Or you can clip it into your D-ring in the back for safety. Which is located just here. There we go. Okay. If you want to know where your date food is, it is located under the inner big pocket, just here. Which is quite hard to find just now, but it's in there somewhere. So it's under the big pocket. Okay, all in all. buy this bag again? Yes. Love this bag. I use this bag every day. Monday to Saturday, weekends, I use a different bag because I don't need to carry all of this. Yeah, so it's a great everyday bag and yes, I recommend it. Love it. Easy to use. Over the shoulder, crook of the arm, crook of the arm, and over the shoulder. And that's what it looks like. On the front, on the side, there we go. So, that's my review on my Neverfull MM. So, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up just down below and subscribe just up here somewhere. So, for now, thank you, bye, and I'll see you next time.